Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to import this knife that we made last time into Unity. Last time we also exported this model, but one thing I forgot to do was change the materials on it. So what we can do is go to the materials tab, create two new materials. I will call the material one mat one and the second one mat two. If I change the mat one, you can see that it changes the color of the whole object. That's because mat two is not uh, assigned. So if you go into edit mode and press L while hovering over our grip, we have to select mat two here and click assign. Now, if I change the color of it, you can see that it changes on the grip. Now we just have to go to the modifiers tab, apply our mirror modifier, press RX minus 90, apply rotation, location and scale with control A and now you can just press RX 90 for no reason just so it looks normal. Now select this object and go file, export FBX, make sure you select this thing for scale right here and click export. Now we can move into Unity. In Unity we just have to really quickly import this so go to our FBX folder and find your FBX file and now you can just drag it in and then drag it in the scene. You can see that it's definitely way too big so we'll do the same thing we did um, with our animations and arms. I will select the FBX file, go to the models tab and change the scale factor to something like 0 0.15. Click apply and I think this should be a very nice size for our knife. That's pretty good. Now we just have to change the materials. I'll go ahead to our materials folder and create a new material. This one will is going to be called blade mat. I'll just drag it onto our model and then I'll create a second material. This is going to be the grip or actually wood mat. I want to have a wooden grip. Select a wood mat material and change the color to a uh, to a brown one. And then the blade material, I'll set that to a nice gray color. And also I will increase the smoothness so it has a bit more re reflection. And maybe our wood mat has to be a bit darker, something like this. And now we need to make sure that this knife follows our right hand. Because if you take a look, if we play the game, our animations get played but of course the knife doesn't move. We can fix that very easily by just assigning the knife to the FPS arms. A much easier thing to do would be to assign the knife to our hand.r bone that we made in Blender when we were making our rig. So if you select that bone, the right hand bone, you can see where it is and if we just assign the knife to that or parent the knife to that and then the knife is going to follow this bone. So let's do that, select the knife, I will make it rotate on the Y axis by 90 degrees and then just find a proper position for the knife. I think something like this is pretty good. I'm going to right click on our hand at our bone and create a empty object and then press F2 to rename it to weapon holder. I'm going to drag the knife to our weapon holder and now if we play the game you can see every animation that we do knife follows our hand. We jump, follows it, sprint, follows it. So that's pretty cool. That's it for this episode. In the next episode I'm again not sure what we're gonna do. I have to think about it. But if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and as always, you can go follow me on my social media or on my Patreon. That'd be very much appreciated. So hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.